to my house, and these are the red frame grapes. Grapes? Like grapes? Grapes or grapes? And this is a this is a pear tree, and here we have rosemary. I just stepped over the rosemary here, and here we have a plum tree and a apple tree, and here is a peach tree. Now we're moving forward. We have more pear trees over here and more eating grapes over here, more eating grapes over here, more eating grapes over here. Yes. And now we go back to the vineyard, and as we go toward the vineyard, we have an apricot tree here, peach tree over here, almond tree over here, another little almond tree here, in case something happens to the big almond tree, and we have a fig tree over here. And now we are back over here into the vineyard. And this is the, where we make all the wine from. And the county grapes are the treasure of this uh, vineyard back here because we have found a combination to make the best wine in the world. Let's take a little stroll down the vineyard. Okay, here we go. All right, we got these nigger pigeons over here that are just like devastating my vineyard. And I'm going to try to kill them all, but let's take a walk through the vineyard. All right, over here, as you can see, underneath all these leaves, we have some of the Chianti grapes. And these are my prized treasure right here because this makes some of the best wine in the world, period. Best wine in the world, period. Best wine in the world, period. And here we go, back through here, this is the Tempranillo. We don't have anything to know about that just yet, but it may be a very good wine. And this is the Merlot over here, okay. And if you're wondering about my leg, I lost it in the war. <laughs> and here we go back over here into the Syrah area. This is a hot climate grape that just, just, we just don't know, but I haven't found the right combination for this yet, but we're working on it. More Tempranillo over here and more Chianti over here. We have the Chianti grape, which is, like I said, my prize grape that makes best grape, best, best wine in the world. Dwayne will attest to that. And we're going around the corner here. And around the corner here, I just want you to see some of the dead birds I killed. There's one right here, and there's this one right here. We got one right here. Yeah, we got a dead right here. I shot this bird right here. Killed it dead. All right, so that's the buddy right down there. And here's another one of his buddies over here. Look at this one over here. I killed him too. Okay, <laughs> so we got three dead birds. Look at those little bastards. Oh, They're trying to eat my dude. grapes, and I'm not happy about that. Some down grapes down there. Rock, which it just doesn't work real well. It hasn't been a good grape for us. We tried that very, and it's just a hard grape. All right, we're back in the shadows. Over here, you can see the uh, Chianti grape, which is, like I said, my prize. And this is the best wine that I will make at this point. But we're working on better ones. As we move down here, we're getting into the Merlot area. This is, these are the uh, grapes that we picked today. We picked uh, 64 pounds of the Merlot grapes, and they are probably we they need oak. And we're gonna find I'm gonna find the right combination this year for the Merlot. And it will be an excellent wine too. Okay. And if we move down here, we pick all these Merlot grapes. If you can see over the uh, wires over here, we have some of the Cabernet Sauvignon grapes, and they're just not quite ready yet. And when they get ready, I'm going to pick them and ferment them also. <laughs> Are we done with the tour? Yes. All We're right. Done with the tour right now. That was excellent. Unless you want to see the dead birds again. <laughs>